Hi everyone, welcome to a new episode with Pasta Queen and Pasta Bro. Oops! <laughs> Today we're making a classic carbonara, so spaghetti alla carbonara. Yes. Let me show you the way. Ingredients. Today we're using some guanciale, which is the chick part of the pork. Then we have three eggs, some pecorino romano, and pepper. Today I'm using the best spaghetti I could find for this recipe. I want them rough on the surface. Oh my God. <laughs> Here, you can hold this. Mm. Anyways, so these are slow dried at low temperature and they are uh, made with bronze dyes and they come out with a very rough surface, which is perfect for carbonara because the sauce will combine and hug like crazy. I'm choosing a young pecorino romano, which means not aged for mm. 500 years, okay? We don't want the mummified pecorino. No. One trick, <laughs> one trick to make the perfect carbonara is to grate the pecorino ultra fine, just like he is. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta compliment him every once in a while, you know, yeah. he needs to get some love, right? Mm -hmm. so pat, pat. <laughs> okay. My brother is going to start grating the pecorino. <laughs> we're going to be doing it on the ultra fine setting and we're going to show you like it's going to be like the desert sand. It's going to be like a fluffy cloud being spread by little angels. Here, I want the fluffy cloud and the little angels included. Some of you might know, but my sister might not, uh, carbonara was originated from the Christopher Colomb. Stu cazzo! Uh, there's no record of this recipe in cookbooks. He has to do one thing, okay? So the history of the carbonara is very beautiful. In the 1940s, someone got inspired. There were American troops around Rome. There was an old recipe back in the 1800s with just cheese and pepper. So someone just added pork to it. We chose to use guanciale. Then we called it carbonara oh. because we felt that it was an homage, a gift. I mean, was the story In that the guy flew with this pig from America? No. You know that? It's not that story. Didn't they cook the pig? No. Guys, it's a beautiful recipe. It was created in Rome in the 1940s. It was called Carbonara. It's a gift to the Carbonari, which is a secret society uh, in Italy. Old, old, old secret society. So, but the recipe has no record before 1940s. So anything before, there's no record of this recipe. So it is most likely being created to satisfy the American troops that were around and helped us during the Second World War. So let's get into it. We start by stir frying 50 grams of guanciale pork per person. No oil required, guys. The guanciale will release fat. Absolutely. I'm going to be adding one egg yolk per person and one extra for the pot. Meaning, it's a Roman saying that explains that once you mix the pasta in the pot, everything is going to get looser and it's going to get lost in translation. The pot is going to steal one egg. Exacto. The pot is stealing some of the sauce, so you add one extra so that the pot can eat it. My brother kindly grated Very about kindly. 40 grams of pecorino cheese per person, and we're adding this in. Okay. So now we mix it. We make it into a little smooth cream. I like to save all the fats from the pork that we're sizzling, and we're gonna be adding it to the egg mix in a second. If you wanna come and see with us and have a look at this sizzling all the fats are getting released and we're going to be adding them to the egg mix to make the perfect carbonara sauce. I really love pepper and I'm going to scrunch mm. a little bit in my sauce just before the bacon guanciale fats go in. It's not bacon, guys. I don't want to hear in the comments. I don't want to be like, you use bacon. We're using guanciale. If you don't have guanciale, use pancetta. Obviously, we're in the US, so we're using, people are using what they can. If 
but I advise to use pancetta instead of guanciale should you not find it. Yeah. Okay, so I'm mixing the peppercorn that are freshly grinded. Do you say okay, grinded or ground? Ground. Okay. Yeah. Not grinded? <laughs> it doesn't matter, we're okay. Italians. I, I like to add a little bit of the of the fried guanciale as well as a little bit of the fat straight to my egg mix and mix it all in. And then one last but not least trick for the perfect carbonara is save some pasta water. Just before you drain your pasta, save at least one cup of pasta water and set it aside because that's gonna make your sauce. Just decided to read a random comment on my last carbonara from TikTok. Someone asks me, uh, dear pasta queen, is it okay to put cream in my carbonara sauce? No, we don't use cream. We're Italians. I mean, you can beat your cat with a shovel. With a With, with a, a shovel? A shovel? Oh, tell me in Italian. <laughs> because, uh, no, dice, io vado qui alla parata al gatto. Cioè, non va bene, non può fa, però non è che va bene. Cioè, la crema della carbonara. Okay, the concept is this. You could beat your cat, but that doesn't make it okay. You could put the cream in, but that doesn't make it okay, <laughs> basically. Wow, that was incredible. I did it, guys, I did it. <laughs> now, some people ask me, are you eating raw eggs? This is a big controversial point about the carbonara. I don't know anybody in my history of having lived them, you know, born and raised in Rome. I've known, um, I, I know probably about 5,000 Romans. Uh, nobody has ever gotten sick from this. And what I've researched about is once you actually put the hot pasta water, which is boiling pretty much, and the hot pasta and mix the egg with it, it will lightly cook, but not scramble it, but it will still kill any potential bacteria. In summary, it's edible, but not fully cooked. Just like my brother. <laughs> no. This is armatone. This is like a brick. So we're gonna be cooking it for a minute longer. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for your contribution. Okay, the pasta has been drained. Now we put it back into the pot with the guanciale. Now I wanted to say, that the pot has been obviously cooling down, okay? So it's not boiling hot and it's definitely off the heat. There's no heat on at this point. This is pasta spaghetti al dente. Now the best part, we take our beautiful cream that was created and we add it to the mix, okay? Now the pasta water goes in and now we mix it vigorously. You want this other one too? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes, okay, so, okay. <laughs> Pasta is getting a little sticky. Let me just mix it a little bit. We mix it all in. Now you have to serve this instantly. Oh, look at this spaghetti length. Beautiful. We use a serving fork and a ladle to create the beautiful round shape. Look at the creaminess, guys. Perfect egg and pasta water mix with the pecorino cheese. So beautiful, look at that. There you go. Now we add a little bit of guanciale on top. Just like this. We're gonna add a scrunch of pepper. And the carbonara is ready to be served. Just gorgeous. Mmm, mm, whoa. Oh my bono. Mmm, it is so good. Mmm. Mm. Perfection, just like you are. Mmm, that's all. It's really good, guys. Wow. All right, guys, this pasta is delicious, but you gotta eat it fast. You don't wanna let it sit. So serve and eat right away with the people that you love. Stay gorgeous and follow us on TikTok and subscribe to YouTube. Until next Tuesday, bye!